And that's the way we're kicking off Send It Sunday this week. I don't think I've ever kicked off Send It Sunny with a still picture, but look at that thing. For anyone who doesn't know, the PWA IWT event is going on in Fiji from the 1st to the 11th. It is now the 28th so just a couple of days away we've had riders going early because there was a swell and just check out these conditions yeah epic stuff absolutely epic marlene's been there um from south africa fame she's gone all the way over to fiji baptiste clarec ricardo campello obviously antoine martin and actually just before i recorded this i realized the video had just dropped from that hit you want to see it Yes, check out the video. This is Jace Panabianco in the water filming from Fiji. Yeah, wow, it's crazy. I mean, maybe the picture actually makes it look bigger or not makes it look bigger. It's the real, that is how big it is. In the video, it kind of comes down so quickly. You're like, oh yeah. But when you freeze frame that thing, you realize how big it is from the water. That's what these guys are dealing with. Absolutely epic. And like I said, Ricardo Campello is also there and he just posted this on Facebook. Yeah, he posted this picture with this caption. Now, I'm going to read this to you straight off his Facebook page. Quite scary stuff, okay. So he posted that picture. He said, in this aerial, I didn't land where I should. I landed right on the lip of the wave and it went down. I got washed on the first wave. Second wave behind, I dove as deep as I could to not get washed again. I started swimming up with my eyes closed and felt I would never reach the surface. I opened my eyes and everything was black. Imagine that, you're so deep, you're coming up, you're swimming, you've got your eyes closed like normal. You know, you probably don't wanna open your eyes and you're thinking, God, I'm, I'm taking a while, I'm taking a while. What is going on? I better open to see where I am. You open them, it's black. Just, if you've ever been smashed by a wave, a little wave, you've been under for a couple of seconds, it feels like a lifetime. Imagine how long that feels. He then goes on to say, I opened my eyes and everything was black, so I had a little panic and started to go up faster and finally came to the surface. Came out to get some air for about four seconds and then had to dive really deep again for the third and fourth waves of the set. I had no flotation, no inflatable jacket, but my trick was to remain calm. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> oh yeah, just to remain calm, everything's black. Uh, he then says, my gear got washed to the reef, but only one of my sail battens broke and it took me a while to swim back to the channel, but it was worth it. Was it worth it? What is the biggest hold down you've ever had? I mean, like I said, no video, but just picture those things. That is how big it could be in Fiji. And the forecast for the first days, it's pretty big again. There's another swell coming, there's wind. It's super exciting. This event needs to go off for it to ever happen again. The organizer, I mean, Simi, who's done quite a lot of the organizing behind this event, is putting in his own money to make this happen. So I, I really hope it's a success. The sailors have chipped in quite a lot of money to sail the reef. Over a thousand euros, I think it is, to, for them to have access to this competition to sail the reef. So everyone is putting it on the line because we know we're windsurfing needs this event and when you see those pictures like Marlene's pictures when you see the video you're like yes we need this to happen so let's all cross our fingers that everyone makes it back safely but they score and um, there is rumor there's a live stream again let's wait and see it kicks off on the first uh i will be it won't be through windsurfing tv it will either be for the iwt channel the pedway channel or something similar similar i can't even speak i'm so excited uh paul van bellen is also there i was speaking to him uh well just a couple of hours ago says so he's just got there he's in a car ride i think with victor fernandez mark Paré, getting the shopping in he's super excited the buzz is there they've been surfing because i think there was no wind today but it is all looking good yes are you excited you better bloody be um what, we, what we, should the sailors have head cams on should we should we make them wear head cams we should definitely make them wear head cams in the racing because michelle becker just dropped his latest video as like recap of you know he finished fifth in the world so he's done a little recap of the event used some commentary from the event but he's got the added bonus 
at the 360 camera, which you wore in every race. And there's just an amazing sort of dynamic there where you see actual PWA racing. Like you can't use it in the live, I don't think. It's not great for commentary, but afterwards to delve in, to look at these situations, I think it works super well. So definitely check out his video on that. Um, what else have we got? I think we might have, well, actually I just got sent this video from uh, Martin Van Ochten from Holland. Now he's pushed He's pushing some old school boards, you know, you can pick them up for nothing, you know, the old school slalom boards, a little bit narrower that you can jump. And he's saying, you know what? We've lost the art of blasting and jumping. And we're gonna launch a video soon. It's not finished yet, but he sent me a little bit of some rough cuts and put together something that just pumps you up. It's old school, but does it make you think of the good times when just blast along and doing big yeehaws, wave slalom? That was a thing it could come back for sure. That's what we need to push the new generation up. Obviously, a lot of people talking about winging right now, but winging is dangerous. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> How many more are we gonna get of these? How many more? Just check that. Yeah, this is Thomas and John, and John's just looking for a little bump. He sees a mate, they're very good mates, so don't worry, everyone, I should really say, everyone is okay, there was just a bit of damage to the board. Yeah, quite a bit of damage to the board, but everyone is safe and they're kind of laughing about it having beers together, so don't worry. But it just gives you an idea, you've got to look out. Actually, I'm not going to say that because I had a comment this morning saying, Ben, your, your channel is getting more like a safety advice video and rather than reckless sending. So, okay, I'll forget the safety advice. It's just go out there and smash into each other, boys and girls. Uh, but yeah, please be careful, um, especially when you're winging and there's wind surfers involved. But this is Thomas and John. John turns on a little bump and you know, that sail, that wing thing doesn't make a very good window. It doesn't see each other, bang. Exactly, that's why we need wave slalom back. That's what's gonna bring the kids in. And talking about kids, check out these young rippers. Yes, Yannick, Dennis and Eric. 11 years old, nine years old, and seven years old. They're from the tree for area, like Canos de Mecca, Cadiz, that kind of Conil. I think Conil is where they live. Um, and they are for the future, 100%. And I've just heard Simmer style are starting to hook them up. And that is so good news for me, because obviously I'm sponsored by Simmer, and I always want the kids to get involved uh, with the brand, because, uh, well, it's just fun, man, to have guys pushing up. And look at those guys all under 12 years old and ripping. Check out the turns. Yeah, Yannick on the on the black tip, on the yellow black tip, got some decent turns on 11 years old. And then you've got Dennis. We call him Dennis the Menace. Check out this for a hit. Bam! <laughs> oh, bam, look at the style, look at the push. I love to see that. Nine years old, he's doing that at nine. I started windsurfing when I was nine. I mean, just let that sink in. I think they started windsurfing. I think Yannick started when he was six and uh, Dennis and Eric, about five. I mean, you've got three brothers all into it. Mom and dad, like fully into it. Stefan, I think in Victoria, there's a family of windsurfers. They live in Tarifa. I mean, yes, they, we're gonna see him. We're gonna see him in Pozo. So stay tuned to the channel. And guys, if you want a windsurfing TV hat, I think I can do three. Go on, send me a message and I'll send them down to you. Uh, you'll all have to have different colors though. Um, that's just how it roll in. Although you have got good heads of hair. Do you need hats? I definitely do. <laughs> <laughs> Keeps the sun off me head. Uh, yeah, but it's so good to see the young rippers coming in. And don't forget, if you're a young ripper out there, or maybe you're an old sender, if you've got any footage from me, because I'm lacking a bit of crazy content at the moment, send it at windsurfing.tv. That's where you've got to send it. Um, and I would appreciate anything. Also got to thank the sponsors, SavanShop.com. Yeah, still supporting Send It Sunday. And of course, the mailing room.com are still there too. Um, so there we go. Massive thanks to you guys. But we haven't finished this episode. No, we haven't because we got the surf bargains, yeah. Surf bargains, yeah.
<laughs> yeah, we've got the surf wagons. I mean, episode wouldn't be complete these days without the surf wagons. But check out this one to kick things off. Yes, the beetle. Does it get better than this? And this is at my old home spot. Well, two hours from my old home. Ross Niger, North Wales, got the Beetle loaded up. Anton, that is a classic picture. What's he got on the roof? I don't know, actually. Maybe there's a Mistral in there looking at that nose cone, a Tiga. Answers in the comments below if you can spot what's on the roof. Um, next up, we've got another beauty of a surf bargain. Check out this thing. Yep, green Cortina Mark IV down in Pool Harbour. Uh, and Steve sent me these in. This is not his car though, this is uh, his brother John's car. Loaded up to the hilt once again. What's he got on the roof? It's got maybe a F2 Lightning on the bottom. It's got to be a Tiger in there. And it's got to be the old faithful Bic Astro Rock. Who didn't have a Bic Astro Rock? Um, actually, talking of Bics, did you see that picture online the other day? Check out those things. Who had one of those boards? You must have. Big Rap, Big Presto, Astarok, Rock and Roll, uh, Alto, the waveboard. Let me know in the comments your stories about um, an old Big board because they were the they were the dream. They were cheap and cheerful, and they were actually pretty rapid. Vivarchi, come on, you know you had a Big in your life. You know you did. Um, but yeah, going back to that picture from Steve. Epic car, epic car. He said he's 55 now. He's still getting out when he can in Pearl Harbor and still is loving it, loving it. And talking about one more person who is absolutely loving it, it's Toon. Check out this for a beast. Yeah, the orange van. Is that Bedford? What is it? Fort? Come on, someone let me know. He doesn't say, but that orange van, he said his parents um, bought it as a van and built it into a camper. And they travelled all over Europe uh, with him and his two sisters. He said those were the days. Just absolutely loved it. He said his parents are legends and he just, he loves them to pieces. He said, you amazing growing up with that style, just cruising to all the best surf spots. He's telling He's still windsurfing. His dad is still windsurfing today. The best sport in the world. 100% and that is the best place to end on. Windsurfing is the best sport in the world. Fiji's about to kick off. Uh, oh, massive thanks to everyone who's chipped in the beer money. You legends supporting the channel, keeping the energy flowing and keeping you boys entertained and girls entertained hopefully on Sunday. If you do want to chip in some beer money, I'll leave the link at the end and if you don't, there's no problem. It's fine. Enjoy for free uh, and have a very pleasant Sunday. Only one thing left to say, no matter where you are in the world, don't forget to say <laughs> dude.